um, fundraising to me has always been the most um, unpleasant part of running for office. There's no question about that. And when I first ran, um, I was a supporter of rent control, and a lot of people weren't happy about that. So over the years, I've had to put in a lot of my own personal money, and I was able to do that. And still, th until this, I'm still technically on the books, owed about thirty thousand dollars to myself over the years that I've put in of my own money. I've always felt that um, you know it's easy to say we all support um, clean elections, but what does clean elections mean? There was a proposal, a one sentence thing in the last a couple of weeks in the council for the a referendum. Do you support uh, public financing of city council elections? Well, what does that mean? There's no, there was nothing there. The same meeting that was brought in, I brought in a very detailed, what I think is uh, campaign um, finance uh, reform. And that would restrict contributions from individuals at $200, um, no special um, interests, um, that the maximum a city council candidate could raise or spend uh, would be $35,000 in a campaign season. And the school community, I think, was about 25000 So we're going to be having a hearing on, on that pretty soon, uh, to that. You know, some people, they really what bothers me, because I did have a fundraiser, and I have a lot of immigrant friends who own Dunkin' Donuts, and they contributed to my campaign. And some counselors and uh, others of the affiliated with the campaign basically accuse you of being in, in the pockets of Dunkin' Donuts. And I don't know if Dunkin' Donuts... I, they're going to give me free donuts or what, whatever. I, I don't know what that all means. They were immigrants that came to this country and made a, a, a better life for themselves and their families and been quite successful. And they've been friends of mine for many years. And But those individuals can have a little wine and cocktail and cheese party on the other end of the city and take $1,000 contributions like that from individuals and raise probably $30,000 in, in, in an hour. So where's the fairness, where's the equity in that? You know, they talk a good game about, um, you know, uh, public financing, but, you know, that money's coming from real estate um, um, that own, the, you know, the different uh, sales companies for the real estate in the city. And, and they're, a lot of them are probably the one percenters, you know, so, but that's okay that for them to do that. So what... Again, I'll go back. What does public financing mean? Do we give a candidate, you know, everyone here is $25,000? Well, how do you spend it? Where's the accountability of that? Look at the, go on to, the, and I just introduced that for the Office of Campaign Public Financing to make those candidates' records more public. Some candidates, they're spending all their money, they're raising good money, and they're spending it either at restaurants or Lyft or paying for Uber. Do I want a hard-working resident of the city, the tax money, going to pay somebody to go out and eat and take a cab or take a ferry somewhere or, a, or an airplane trip. There was no accountability in that. There has to be accountability in, in, in the system and, you know, how you spend that money. So before I'm going to spend the hard-working money of the residents of the city for somebody to not have any accountability and, uh, you know, just say, you know, is my cousin, you know, he's my campaign consultant, I'm paying him $25,000, no, you know. So it, it's, you know, it's, again, it's such a easy way of saying, you know, we're, we're the re reformists or, you know, and, you know, for clean government and clean elections, but what does it mean? There's probably more corruption in giving somebody uh, $30,000 without any accountability would just lead, you would probably have 500 people running for city council if that was the case. So. It has to be stringent. My proposal is going to be before the Government Operations Committee soon, and I hope that's a, you know, a good, robust discussion. And limit it, maybe just limit the maximum contributions, 100 bucks from, from each individual. I have no problem with that. And, uh, but it has to be something that's accountable.